How Sahara fog nets create water and life in the African desert. One of the roughest and most severe places on Earth is the Sahara. Sahara is the world's biggest scorching desert, measuring 11 million square kilometers. Two billion people lack access to clean drinking water and 60% of people lack running water in their homes. Approximately 40% of the world's population now experiences water shortages. The Sahara area of southwest Morocco is now supplied with clean drinking water thanks to new, innovative technology that is reversing the trend of water shortage. In this video, we'll demonstrate how Sahara fog nets create water and life in the African desert. So keep watching to know more. Hello and welcome back everyone. Before we start, subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this and ring the notification bell. Having said that, let's begin. Due to its unique climate, the southwest of Morocco is a hotspot for indigenous species. The Atlantic Ocean, which this area naturally borders, produces a chilly front of wind and fog. However, because this region lies in the transitional region of the Sahara Desert, it has severely dry summers and has had a decrease in rainfall over the past several decades. The limits of this area, which were drawn by European invaders in the 19th century, are under question. Most of the inhabitants of this area are nomadic tribes that depend on commerce and agriculture to survive on huge Western Sahara. It's a common fallacy that deserts can't support life. However, living things have long existed in these conditions and thrived there. The desert may also grow and shrink for a variety of causes. This traditional zones, human management is a contributing component. By holistically managing the land, the nomadic tribes were able to turn the desert into a welcoming haven. Their nomadic domain was divided. The result was a sharp decline in agricultural output. A lengthy period of dry weather that followed accelerated the process of desertification. Over the 20th century, troops' presence, automatic weapons and vehicles also wiped off the local life. The 1980s saw a dramatic collapse in nomadic culture as a result of urbanization and forced settlement. Large irrigation projects were put in place, which caused the soil to become salinized and eventually led to desertification. Thanks, though, to Isa Darham. In Western Sahara, fertility is returning. He is a mathematician and entrepreneur whose parents are from Mesquita, in the anti-Atlas mountains close to the coastal city or town, if any worse slopes are shrouded in mist for an average of 130 days a year. He was aware that he could produce water from the fog despite the lack of rain. He discovered fog collecting in Chile's Atacama Desert, one of the first operations in the world to collect water from nets while residing in Canada in the 1980s. He was confident that he could accomplish the same thing on Sahara. However, it would need to be equipped with rather modern technology to resist the powerful winds that originate from the Atlantic Ocean and reach speeds of 100 km per hour. To reduce the effects of wind forces of up to 120 km per hour, he worked with the German Water Foundation or Wasser Stiftung, and developed a new innovative technology known as Aqualonis, which is a system of water collection fog nets with rubber expanders. They have flexible trials that follow the movement of the net in the wind. They also have a bigger 3D knitted fabric than flat woven mesh materials, which provides a greater surface area for creating more water yields. The project has grown over the past 10 years, and with the installation of 15 Aqualonis system, it is now the largest collector park in the world, with 1,682 square meters of mesh space. Additionally, 16 villages and a school in the valleys surrounding the Aqualonis site have access to drinking water. Instead of the previous 8 liters per day, the approximately 1,600 residents will now have access to up to 18 liters per day. The girls in the villages will now spend less time fetching fresh water from the well and more time concentrating on their education as a result. A little amount of fruit and vegetables can also be grown by individuals. Some guys are going back to their communities as a result of the better water condition, creating new earning prospects. This idea might end up being extended to the shore, where there are three times as much fog. Since other nations throughout the world have weather similar to the United States, it is a choice that is worth considering. We sincerely hope you liked the video, please click the like button if you did, and if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.